Hey folks, it's Sean with Modern Country Living. Welcome back. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that I ordered. Today, on my day off, I went and ordered something. Not a hamburger, not a taco from Taco Bell. I ordered a new truck. Uh, this has been a great truck for me. My 2018 model Super Duty. Whew, I ordered it and uh, it came in in April of 2018. This has been a really reliable vehicle, got over 50,000 miles on it, so it's not even really broke in. And as you can see, I take good care of my things. You know, I like to make sure they're washed and, you know, here living in Northwestern Pennsylvania, where you get lots of road salt, you gotta keep them clean. I use fluid film underneath it. Uh, I just do things to try to, you know, keep them in great, great shape. So why would I order a new vehicle then? Well, right now, this truck's paid for. It's uh, got a lot of value in the used market and I can get a pretty good deal on ordering a new truck. They don't have to floor plan it or anything like that. Uh, I've got some incentives being a Ford supplier, blah, blah, blah. But uh, long story short, just the economics made sense. Now, Dave Ramsey would tell you never order a new vehicle, never buy a new car, drive something old. And he's right for most people. That's what you should probably do. Uh, for me, this is this is what I want to do. And it's not, you know, putting me in the poor house or, you know, I'm not at risk of, you know, not eating or anything like that because I order a new vehicle. But to, why did I go with a Ford? Let's get that out of the way. Because I'm sure I'm alienating like 66% of the people out there who are like, you got to get a Ram. Or why aren't you ordering a Duramax? <laughs> Here's the deal. If you watch my videos on tractors, I test drove tractors. I ordered what I, or I bought, what I wanted, uh, had him go find it. And when it came to pickup trucks, it's the same thing. I went and drove Ram. I've driven, uh, you know, GMC Chevrolet vehicles with the Duramax and great, great platforms, great vehicles, uh, you know, very comfortable. Uh, it's just the Ford kind of fit me better. It just, had a certain feel in the cab, a spaciousness. And, uh, you know, I think Ford's just done a really great job with the 6.7 liter uh, power stroke. Uh, I, I wouldn't say the same for the, you know, 6.0 and the 6.4, which definitely had some issues. But you know what? There are people that I'm making mad right now by even talking about that because there are people drown, running those vehicles and they're like, whoa, what are you saying? The 6.0 is the best, you know? Uh, I, I'm just saying, I think this one has been phenomenal. Uh, my second one, uh, and it's just done a great job. So Ram, don't get mad at me. Uh, GMC, don't you know burn my YouTube page down. Try hacking it or whatever. Uh, I respect what you bought. I respect that all of us can go hook up to a gooseneck trailer. We can put a lot of weight on it. We can go yank it down the road. You know, depending on who's driving, someone might be two seconds faster in the quarter mile with a 20,000 pound load on, I have no idea, right? But I know they're all competitive and I know that they wanna produce things that the consumer want and this is what this consumer wants. It's my money and I'm spending it how I want. And why would I buy a heavy duty pickup truck? Well. I got to the point where the things that I wanted to move around uh, outstripped the capacity of a half ton vehicle. I needed something that could have a higher payload and could also have a higher uh, towing capacity. And so several years ago, 2012 was my first uh, Super Duty with a diesel. And as I said, I had a great experience with it. And so I opted to do it again. And now I'm gonna go for number three. Something's got me interested. You know, the economics, yeah. Uh, I am interested in the 10-speed transmission. Can't believe they've got 10-speed transmissions, but uh, I'm gonna try it out. And the thing is, I actually use the vehicle. Uh, yes, I do drive it to work or, you know, we like taking it on vacation. It's got, you know, eight foot bed. So actually I go with the long bed because I'm weird and I like to actually have a heavy duty pickup truck that I can put an eight foot two by four in the bed and close the tailgate or a sheet of plywood. Not saying anything against people who like the little short beds, 
uh, you know, everybody's got to have their thing and it's their money. They get to spend it how they want. But for me, I want to be able to put an eight foot sheet of plywood in it and close the tailgate. I don't want my four wheeler sitting on the tailgate when I put it in the bed of the pickup truck. And so my heavy duty truck has an eight foot bed. The thing is, uh, I do use it. I, I tow with it. I haul things in the bed with it. I do stuff with my vehicle. My friends and I joke, we probably do more on accident than most people do on purpose. We're workers, we do stuff. Uh, my dad, when we're together, we're making things happen. We are not going to get by with a little sedan that is, you know, not gonna hold all the things that we need to do, not gonna pull all the things we need to pull, and quite frankly, just not gonna cut the mustard. So there are some frustrations right now uh, that I've got. One is, I have no idea when the new truck is gonna show up. It, they say, hey, it could be three months, they could build it next month, but it could be six months. And if that happens, instead of a 2022 model, I might end up with a 2023 model. Which, that's okay, except for the fact that I don't know what a 2023 model looks like because all the ones that you see on the internet are camouflaged. Are they significantly different than the 2022? Are they gonna have more power? Are they gonna change something? I don't know. But, you know, I figure I can chronicle this journey with you and kind of explain what's cooking. So today is the 18th of March and I placed the order today. Ford sent me a confirmation. They said, we've got it. We're gonna get it in the queue. But I know we're dealing with this very broken supply chain and what does that mean? Microchip shortage. I can't order the new truck with a bed liner in it from the factory or with a gooseneck package installed, a gooseneck hitch package. So I have to add that aftermarket. That's kind of frustrating. I don't know if anybody from Ford or Ford's, you know, working for Ford watches this video, but not being able to get a heavy duty truck with a decent build date that has those two things is kind of frustrating. Now you might say, well, you're still ordering it. Yeah, I am. And the thing is, this is kind of a, I like to have purchase. I mean, I've got one, you know, I'm not like a guy that's a, you know, a heavy hauler, like every day hot shot in it, where if I needed one, I wouldn't be able to get it. Right. So, and I'm sure that Ford really does want to sell them with it, with it in there. You know, I mean, I'm sure they're not like, we ought to sell these trucks without bed liners or without hitch packages, right? You know, gooseneck hitch package. I'm sure they want to sell it. Uh, just letting you know, it's a frustrating thing to your customer. Uh, maybe you would offer those two things as, hey, bring it into the dealership. You just click the order and we'll make sure we get it on there, even if it's aftermarket. But I guess I'll have to coordinate that on my own. So getting back to my friends who drive Ram and friends who drive GMC. Yeah, Chevrolet, one of those two. You know who you are. Anyway, I love you. I, I just am uh, happy that I can afford a, a diesel vehicle and I'm not knocking what anybody else is driving. I know what works for me. I know you obviously know what works for you and that's awesome. That's what's great about America. We got some choice still, hopefully in the future. And uh, don't get on here and flame my you know comments. Uh, be respectful. <laughs> can't believe that guy bought a Ford found on road dead. Yep. Haven't been found on the road dead yet. In fact, I carry a 20,000 pound tow strap and I've towed more people out, dodges and whatnot out of the snow, semis out of being stuck with this truck and my prior one. You know what I've never had? I've never had anybody have to tow me. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm just saying, uh, I believe that uh, you could tow my truck and I could tow your truck. 
but we don't have tow trucks. So with that, I'm gonna say farewell and stay tuned as I chronicle the journey of ordering a new truck in crazy supply ch chain times and let's see what happens. Hopefully they deliver something I want, otherwise I'm not gonna take it. But right now I'm kind of excited about having, you know, what's it gonna look like and uh, when am I gonna get it? All right, stay tuned, thanks for watching and I appreciate you, take care.